Hi and welcome to RC Koptelav. Today I want to show you why I think that this model, the UX300 from Microhaley for the OMP Hobby M2, is the simplest scale model on the micro market that you can build. Because this canopy just replaces the original canopy. Um, there is no whole fuselage on this whole machine. You see there's only the tail boom, there are tail boom support booms and, and the new skids for the UX300. This you have to pre-assemble but everything comes with a set, everything is explained very simple and then you just take off from the normal M2 the regular skids that are coming with these four screws uh, you take off the uh, original canopy posts and replace them with two screws that are coming with the set and then you mount the two screws uh, uh, two posts for the biggest posts for the micro heli scale canopy um, to the servo um, servos instead of the servo uh, mount screws you have to take off the tail that is very simple you have four screws here and one screw here you loosen them you loosen the cables you un unplug uh, these three cables later have to you have to have attention that you plug them in in the right direction so uh, uh, red to red and um, the, the yellow to yellow and the brown to brown and you take just off the, the, the tail boom you have to put on this little mount for the, uh, tail, for the tail boom support rods and you have to slide before you have to slide on this part this stabilizer you have to replace the mount for the motor on the normal M2 and the same is with the Evo everything is valid everything I tell you is valid for the Evo M2 Evo as well you have to just replace it but all screws are prepared everything is prepared and then you are ready to go and uh, in a normal scale helicopter you very often have a complete fuselage so the tail is part of the fuselage you have to put in the cables and the most difficult part for many people is that you have to fit in the whole mechanics into the canopy this is sometimes tricky because you don't have a lot of space and many people disturb I'm also a little bit disturbed that on my um, EC 145 from Microheli I don't have really um, access to all the screws I like to um, inspect my helicopters for safety reasons uh, regularly to, to uh, um, prove if all the screws are fitted tight in a normal scale um, helicopter you don't have this excess easy access to have you have to take the um, mechanics out and in this you have the same access you see it like in the V2 and, and the M2 Evo so this um, set is for both and now I'm going to show you how they are flying okay see you while flying and now let's see how my little bee is flying she is so small that I really will fly only close to us because this small helicopter is just not visible when you fly far away because it's too small so I will do some circles, some turns. You see how agile this machine is. This will be not very round flying because the canopy is different than the normal stock M2 canopy which has rather a form like a torpedo and this little bird has rather the, the, the form of a truck so it is flat on the sides and the front, even the front, you see it now in the profile has rather the form like a truck or something 
So now we will go fast forward into the next small figure eight. So I told you it's not really scale flying very elegant like I love it. But I wanted to show you that this machine is really agile and that, can it, that it can do many, many crazy things. Oh, my dear wife, we can fly to these holes that the pigs were digging. Two over here, the wild pigs were digging holes with their nose. And I want to see if I can fly with this machine at least a little bit inside of this hole. Yes, we made a touch, touch and go. And um, you see, it is very, it is to be controlled very precise. I will fly now around these plants. They are beginning to get dry already. And you see it reacts very, very fast. I have, of course, very fast settings on this helicopter as on all my M2 helicopters and I like to fly away in the side to the side so you really can see that this machine is fantastic agile uh, and we even can do one loop do we want to make a loop yes yes okay so one loop it will be difficult to follow But I think it was in the frame because my wife is a great camera woman <laughs> and <laughs> she's with me if it's summer and hot, if it's autumn, she is with me. She's making these videos. She's making possible that this channel exists and I want to thank her for this. I love you. I love <laughs> so, you too. <laughs> thank you very much. And I hope you like this video. It's not great flying um, with this helicopter because it's very small and if I'm flying far away, what I love the most, you will not see anything of this machine. So if you like this video, just give us a like. If you like it very much, subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.